What's going on everyone, it's the True Geordie, back again for Kick TV with El Clasico preview, Real Madrid, Barcelona, the most successful club ever versus the most successful club in recent times. I can't wait for this game, it is going to be immense. Madrid are four points clear at the top of the table with only 10 games left. Barcelona need to win this game. They need to win this game like Oscar Pistorius needs an alibi right now, badly, I mean badly. Uh, onto the game, Ancelotti, he would be quite happy with a draw, he, he knows if he sees them off, he'll get to the end of the season and probably win the league. The onus in this game for a change is on Barcelona and I'm quite looking forward to it. It's going to be like a cup final. The last five games between these two teams, uh, two wins to Barca, two wins to Madrid, one draw and this is the decider. This is a massive game. Uh, Barcelona's last game, Messi scored a hat-trick. He's only one goal away from being the top scorer in this game of all time. Massive, and I think he'll probably do it as well. He's really picking up form again since he's recovering from his injury. Ronaldo, aside from looking nearly as good as me, he, he scored two in his last game, and he's really looking on form at the minute. He holds the record for most consecutive goals in a row in this fixture. And it's a team game, but ultimately, we all know this could come down to Messi, Ronaldo, who has the better game. And with the way this game's shaken up, to be honest, Barcelona, from set pieces especially, have looked shakier than Rosie O'Donnell's <laughs> lately. Yeah, pretty shaky. They're really going to have to take the game to Madrid, which could set up nicely for the counter-attack. Bale, Ronaldo, we know how quick they are on the counter. Speaking of Bale, he's been setting up goals for fun lately and he could really steal the show from Messi and Ronaldo with that lightning quick pace. Alves Marcelo, another great battle I'm looking forward to watching. But to be honest, my rule of thumb in general is the midfield decide to win the game. Now for me, this time, I'm going to make an exception. I think Barcelona have the best midfield, but Real Madrid's defence probably is better than Barcelona's, their attack is better than Barcelona's and I think our centre midfield should have enough in the tank to have enough to hold Barcelona's midfield creativity down and get the ball up to the strikers and expose some of the weaknesses in the Barcelona defence. So I think if Real Madrid can keep Messi to even one goal, one goal, yeah, how ridiculous is that? If we can keep Messi just to one goal, I think that would sew, that would sew the game up nicely for Real Madrid and I think Real Madrid will go on to win 2-1 win the league and that'll be the end of it. La Liga will be Real Madrid if they can win this game 2-1 with goals from Ronaldo. Thanks for watching. True Geordie on Kick TV. Don't forget to check out the True Geordie YouTube channel out and I'll see you later.